Okay, ito yung next lesson natin, slope of a line. Okay, so uh, given two points, we have point 1, the x1, and the y1. The point 2, the x2, and y2. So may dalawang points na given, iba yung formula na gagamitin natin. Ito yung formula niya is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, nandun yung x2 natin, y2 natin, y1, x2, and x1. Ano yung m? Yung m, yun yung slope. So, ito lang yung kailangan natin tandaan na formula. Pag, two points ang given. Okay, so, example. Find the slope of the line passing through the two points. So, ito yung dalawang point. Point 1, and point 2. So, anong gagawin natin? Para hindi natin uh, maguluhan, lagyan na natin dito sa taas ng x1 and y1. x2 and y2. O, para alam mo na yung x1 sa y1 mo. x2 and y2. So, isusulat natin yung formula. m is equal to y2 minus y1 Divided by x2 minus x1. So, i-memorize nyo yan. Yan ang formula na gagamitin natin. So, y2. Ano yung y2 natin? Ang y2 natin is 5. Okay, nandun na. Minus, yung formula natin, lagyan ng minus. Ano ang y1 natin? Negative 1. So, susulat mo dito. Minus negative 1. Okay, x2. Ano yung x2 natin? It is 4 minus Okay, ano x1 natin? Negative 1 din, parehas Okay Kasi yung y1, negative 1 x1, negative 1 <clears throat> Okay, then 5 minus negative 1 Pag minus minus, magiging plus yan Okay So, 5 plus 1 is 6 Ito na naman, minus minus Magiging plus. Okay? So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay? And, hindi na natin siya malolowest term. Hindi mo na rin siya pwedeng gawing mix kasi nasa grade 8 ka na. Ito yung grade 8 lesson. So, to, ang answer natin is more on acceptable is more on improper fraction. So, 6 over 5. Okay? So, ulitin ko. Yung form, ang gawin ng ginawa natin, nilagyan natin ng x1, y1, para dito tayo malito, x2, y2. Tapos, yung formula natin, y2 minus y1, ano yung y2 natin is 5, minus, kasi minus yung formula, negative 1. So, negative 1 doon. Okay, x2, x2 is 4, nilagyan natin yung 4, minus, kasi yung formula, minus, and x1 is negative 1. So, yun yun. Ngayon, pag 5 minus minus, itong minus negative 1, magiging plus yan. Kaya 5 plus 1 is 6. 4 plus 1, kasi minus minus naman, is 5. So, 6 over 5. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Shortcut. Pag alam mo yung formula, pabilis. Okay, so, ito, dahan-dahan natin para malaman nyo kasi lesson. Okay, so, yun ang unang gawin natin para hindi tayo malito. Lagyan mo siya. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay, tapos yan yung formula natin. M is equal to Y2 minus Y1. So, ano na yung Y2 natin? Negative 1. Minus, kasi minus yung formula. Ano yung Y1 natin? Is positive 1. So, isulat mo ng 1. X2 is 5. Okay. Minus X1 is 2. Okay. So, negative 2 minus 1, parehas yun nalang ng sign. So, mag-a-add, pero negative pa rin. So, negative 3. Divided by 5 minus 2 is, siyempre, positive 3. Kasi mas malaki yung 5. Then, negative 3 divided by positive 3. Negative divided by positive is negative. So, negative 1. So, yan na yung slope natin. Okay. So, nakuha ba? Ulitin ko ulit. Ginawa natin. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. 
formula natin is y2 so negative 2 minus palagi then y1 is 1 x2 is 5 yun doon minus yung formula x1 is 2 ito yun then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 5 minus 2 is 3 negative 3 divided by positive 3 is negative 1 so ganun lang kasimple okay so, punta tayo dito sa number 3. Okay, so find the slope. Number 3 is negative 3, 2. So, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. Lalagyan natin ng x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay? So, then, yan na yung formula natin. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So, ano yung y2 natin? It is... 2 minus kasi yung formula y1 is 2 x2 is 3 minus x1 is negative 3 okay. so 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus minus magiging plus so 6 and 0 divided by 6 is is 0. Okay? So, ang slope natin dito is 0. Ano yung 0? Bakit 0 yung slope? Kasi, ang line natin is a horizontal line. Okay? So, horizontal line yung line natin. Pag slope niya is 0, tandaan nyo yan, may tanong. What is the line with the slope is 0? Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Yun. Yun yung line. Okay, so pag slope ay 0, horizontal. Ulitin natin, pares pa rin. Y2 is 2 minus yung formula. So, Y1 is 2. Then, X2 is 3 minus negative 3. Kasi negative 3 yung X1. 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus minus, magiging plus na naman to. So, 3 plus 3 is 6. So, 0 divided by 6 is 0. So, ang pang slope ng 0 is a line which is horizontal yung nakaganyan yung horizontal yung ganyan okay nakahiga okay next number 4 so para hindi tayo malito para, para, parehas pa rin yung gagawin natin x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so formula y2 is 3 minus Ano ang y1 natin? Negative 4. x2, 1. Minus x1 is positive 1. Okay? Then, 3 minus ne negative 4. So, magiging plus na naman yan. That is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay? Sir, ano yung number divided by 0? Ang asagot dyan is an define okay and define and define okay so ang slope natin is undefined kahit calculatory mo yan pindutin mo yung 7 divided by 0 lalabas dun error big sabihin o oh, hindi siya undefined siya ano naman yung drawing nung line na undefined ang drawing ng line na undefined is yung nakatayo ang tawag dyan is vertical line vertical line okay so yung line na slope ay undefined is a vertical line yung nakatayo okay so ulitin ko ang ginawa natin x1 y1 x2 y2 y2 natin is 3 y1 is negative 4 so 3 minus negative 4 is magiging plus na. So, 3 plus 4, 7. Yung x2 is 1. Minus, kasi yung formula natin, minus. x1 is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. And 7 divided by 0 is undefined. Iba yung pag nasa taas yung 0, tapos may number dito, yun ang 0. Pag nasa baba ang 0, undefined. Okay, nag-gets ba natin? Okay, punta tayo dito sa last example. So, ang daming natutunan doon. May vertical line, may undefined. 
Okay, yung slope undefined, vertical, slope ay zero, horizontal line. Okay? So, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. Lalagyan natin ng x1, y1. x2, y2. Pero pag magaling ka na, kahit di mo nalagyan yan, yung mga nakikipontest, alam na nila kung nasaan yung y2, nasaan yung y1, x1, y2, x2, ganun. So, dito, kasi lesson, pinapakita ko kung paano. So, y2. So, 5 minus, kasi minus yung formula. y1 is negative 5. x2 is 0 minus x1 is 3. Yan na naman. Minus minus, magiging plus na naman yan. Okay? So, tandaan nyo yun. 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay? Divided by Okay, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Okay, so 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And positive divided by negative is simply negative pa rin yung answer. 10 divided by 3. Okay, ito na yung slope natin. Okay, so ano yung mga slope? For, yung formula natin, y2 minus y1. So, y2 is 5 minus yung formula, negative 5. So, yun, negative 5. Tapos, x2, 0 minus yung formula natin is 3. So, 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And positive divided by negative is negative 10 over 3. Sabi ko nga, mas gusto nila yung sagot na improper fraction. So, ito yung slope na pag ang given two points. Yung next na topic natin, hanapin naman natin yung slope ang given equation. Okay? So, ang tabayanan nyo yun. Kasi, sunod-sunod yan. Puro mga lesson na pag sa klase, ang hirap-hirap intindihin. Kaya, ang dami nilang pasakali, pasakali. Dito, direct to the point tayo. So, stay tuned lang dito sa Matuto. Learn to love math. Till next time.